Welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diary. Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's Congress Diaries. This is where we analyze, scrutinize, and explore the pros and cons of some of the more interesting and controversial bills in our Congress. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. The dispute over the leadership of the House of Representatives had erupted once again this week. Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano had challenged fellow Solons to remove him from the top post if they no longer want him. Okay, so to make matters worse, there was a shakeup in several House committees. So all of these happened months before the actual turnover of the speakership from Cayetano to Representative Lord Alan Velasco under their term sharing deal brokered by President Duterte himself. Velasco takes over this October. For now, Velasco has denied plotting to oust Cayetano before the agreed turnover date. And because of that, we will talk about this and others. Our guest today has criticized Speaker Cayetano for alleging that there is a plot to unseat him. We will be talking to him about the alleged coup plot in the House as well as, of course, other issues including the bills he has filed in Congress. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our guest for tonight, welcome to Congress Diaries, Buhay Party List Representative Lito Atienza. Good evening, Kim. Thank you for inviting me here. Okay, so Congressman, uh, it seems that uh, there are many um, intramurals uh, that's happening uh, in the House today. What is happening exactly at this point? Because <laughs> just this morning we see again in the, the headlines uh, of the papers, our Manila Times uh, paper, uh, the uh, removal of uh, Congressman Ungab as uh, the chairman of the appropriations and another Congressman, uh, Doy Liachon, from uh, the uh, Electoral Tribunal. Well, you can see that all the problems and all the turmoil and all this confusion being caused now mm -hmm. coming from the Speaker's office. My point is all of us in Congress, all, no exception, mm -hmm. except Speaker Gaetano, we're at a loss. What is this all about? Why is this happening? Why, why the uh, big uh, sh showdown that the Speaker is talking about when there is no plot? Mm -hmm. There is no plan. I do not hear anything about such uh, insidious or subversive talks about a coup plot. The coup plot emanated from the office of the speaker, from his own mouth, and he claims 20 congressmen confessed to him. That's right. I challenge him. Name the congressman who claimed that there is such a plot. Para naman patas. Otherwise, he's being quoted liberally. Mm -hmm. Media is covering his statement. And he's alleging that there is a plot to oust him. There are no such thing as far as I know. Mm -hmm. And if you ask any congress congressman today, except Speaker Cayetano, he will tell you or she will tell you, wala namang ganyang klaseng nangungumbinsi. Why would anyone do that? Mm -hmm. And I talked to uh, Congressman Velasco about it. Baka naman kako matunogan kung meron nga. Sabi nga ni Congressman Velasco. Hindi ba kayo kasama doon sa 20 na kinakausap daw? Sabi ko nga eh, kung meron talagang 20, di, sabi mo pangalan, I wouldn't even do that. Why? Why would I cause any division at this point in time? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, what have we got to gain? Mm -hmm. Sabi nga ni Congressman Velasco, all I need to do now is wait until October mm -hmm. or November mm -hmm. and I'll be the next speaker according to the term sharing agreement brokered, brokered by, the, by president. the president himself. Oh, yeah. eh, bakit ako gagalaw ngayon? Hanap ba ako ng problema? Tama. Uh, magkakaroon ngayon dahilan. Ayoko na ng term sharing. Sabi ni Kaitano. Mm -hmm. Kaya magulo kayo. Yan exactly yung ginagawa niya. Magulo kayo kaya ayoko na. Magla, mag show down na tayo ngayon. Ngayon pa lang. So, Natanungin niya raw ang membership. Do you want me to step down? Pero ba naman magsasabing step down? Alam naman namin lahat yung term sharing. Mm -hmm. They, let's all wait. That's and right. my best advice to the speaker, 
Pigilan mo na yung makulay na pag-iis mo. <laughs> no such thing as a coup plot against you. We are all recognizing you as speaker until October. Okay, so hihimay-himayin natin yan, Congressman mm -hmm. Atienza. No? So we will be back after this break. Stay with us. And welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is Buhay Party List Representative Lito Atienza. And uh, we started really, really hot on this issue on Congress. So, Congressman uh, Lito, mukhang mainit yung uh, opening salvo mo eh. Ang tanong ko dyan, um, mukhang kasi because of all of these uh, things, confusion happening in, in the House now, ano ba magiging repercussions nito? Like, uh, let's say, ang scenario na halimbawa ang mangyayari na... Um, yung katulad ng sinasabi mo, baka sila yung uh, may gawa nito. So, ano magiging yeah. repercussions Tama ito? Tama ang reaction ni Congressman Velasco. Mm. He's not saying anything. He's not uh, participating in the muro-muro. Huwag -muro. mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, magkakalit yung mga kapatid nating Muslim. Pero yun eh, ano yun eh, it's a saying pag yung isa lang ang gumagawa ng script, isa ang director, isa ang actor, mm -hmm. Moro-moro, tama. Mm -hmm. tama. <laughs> ayaw, so, ayaw mag-participate ni Velasco, tama yun. He's not reacting, sinasabi lang niya, I have nothing to gain if I cause any problem now. I am a, a man of my word. I said he is going to be speaker for 15 months and I will be taking over after that. For 21 months. I'm waiting months. for that. Right. I am not moving anything and dinideny ko lahat yung sinasabi nila. Mm -hmm. Na sinasabi si Velasco ron ng umbinsi. Ako, sagot ko dyan, simple. Name the 20 congressmen para malaman natin sino yung mga hinukumbinsi raw ni Velasco to disprove mm -hmm. what Velasco is saying. Of course. If you cannot name them, forget, let's forget about it. Para bang hindi nagsasig yung drama ninyo, Oo. trabaho na lang tayo. Oo nga. Kasi, congressman, um, because of what happened right now, hindi lang po actually intramural dyan, may mga natanggal sa, ano eh, sa committee. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Committee on Appropriations, hindi ba magkakaroon ng impact din ito doon sa susunod na budget deliberations? Tingin ko drama yan eh, drama. Kasama ng, ng script, hmm. kaya nung ambush kay Enrile, that flared out the people, the public, mm -hmm. to demand for martial law. Well, ito naman, ginalo talaga para magkaroon talaga ng actual na away. Kasi, try to unseat me. I'm mm -hmm. prepared. I eh, see. Eh, wala naman nag-move for any unseating of anyone. Mm -hmm. Wala namang uh, tumawag ng uh, election sa speakership. So, hindi nila nagawa yung dapat na reaction ang magagaling sa floor mm -hmm. for which they were prepared. But, Congressman, remember this, ha? I had also been in Congress before. So, eh, paano kung merong isang uh, tumayo dyan at nag-declare ng all positions vacant? He'll be moved by everybody. <laughs> wala nga, eh. Walang mass base, eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi katulad nung kay Alvarez noon, nung mm -hmm. siya speaker. Mm -hmm. Naku, ma ano yun, matunog na matunog na sa, sa labas, sa loob ng Kongreso. A week before, uh, nagbubulong-bulungan na, kanino ka... Pinatos, hindi ganun kasimple yun eh. To unseat an incumbent speaker, yeah. you have to have a lot of momentum, a lot of support. A lot of cash. A lot of cash. <laughs> Kaya hindi pwedeng magawang sikreto yan. <laughs> eh, yung sinasabi niyang secret plot, plot or plan, eh, sabihin mo nga mga pangalan ng participant. But, para, para isa na ako magde-denounce dyan. 
Why are you doing this? So, baka naman kasama yung pangalan mo daw doon ko. <laughs> Di ba sabi? Yun ang sagot ko sa kanya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sama mo ako sa drama, sige. Oo oh, nga. Sanay na sanay ka naman gumawa ng drama. <laughs> Ganun ba? Wow, fighting words yan ko. Ako ang LA ha. So, bali ang ganito po ang, ang mangyayari. I know that... Uh, Um, all of you would just want to buckle down and work. Exactly. ba? Diba? Maraming, maraming trabaho. Exactly. Eh. Pero because of what happened now, mukhang hindi mangyayari yon. So, how do you think from here, how do we move forward from well, here? Well, look, things look, look, look like simmering down. No? Mm -hmm. Kahapon, tahimik na. Nung makalawa, tahimik na. Nung Monday lang naman to, akala nila magkakaroon ng ng uh, automatic combustion. Mm -hmm. Dahil yung ginawa nilang removal, they thought magkakaroon ng reaction sa floor. It wala did not eh. happen. Wala nga. Dahil wala nga galit. Wala naman, wala naman plano. So, hindi nangyari yung expectations nila. So, nakausap niyo ba si Congressman Ungab and si Co and no. or Congressman Liachon no. on this? Nagulat din ako nung biglang, biglang in-announce ng majority leader at mm -hmm. wala naman nag-object. Mm -hmm. Yun ang hindi nila na plano na wala mag-object. Paano yan? So, oo nga. O di wala so, gulo. So, wala nga. Hindi piniti, na pick up. Pinitik ko yung ilong ng gusto ko makaaway. Oh. Eh, hindi ko bibo. Hindi ko lang away. <laughs> <laughs> Yan ang nangyari dyan. Oo oh, nga naman. Actually, it's not the only issue now in the House, uh, Congressman L.A. I know for a fact that another hot issue is the ABS-CBN renewal well, right. of franchise. So, and I think itong uh, bandang huli, the President himself had said that uh, I accept the apology of ABS-CBN. And then, I think yung, dito yung non-airing yata nung kanyang ads during the campaign, mm. ano, and he's even said uh, it's now gonna be up to Congress, hindi ba? Kasi sabi niya, i-donate nyo na lang sa favorite charity ninyo yung uh, pera na binayad ko sa inyo. So, since then, mukhang okay na ba ngayon? Magkakaroon na? What will happen? Tama ka, Kim. Uh, one of those side, side line mm -hmm. by all of this artificial artificial struggle mm -hmm. ay eh, yung ABS uh, franchise. Right. So, tingin nga ng marami, baka magkadugtong yan eh. Mm -hmm. Magaling si Speaker Cayetano, mag-unload ng ano eh. Ganun ba? Gumawa na, oh, gumawa ng diversionary uh, event. Mm -hmm. Kaya, isa sa mga biktima nitong, nitong gusot na ito, where we wasted another mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. yung ABS uh, franchise. Mm -hmm. It's still hanging, mm -hmm. and to the embarrassment of all of us in the lower house, everybody's saying, why are you not buckling down to work? Why didn't you take this up earlier, right? Why this and why that? Not kami nasi That's right. But I'm happy to report now, the speaker has announced, next week daw, on the meron, Yes, meron daw. He, will, he has ordered the uh, opening, opening, uh, mind you, uh, mm -hmm. of the committee discussions mm -hmm. in the committee on franchises. Mm -hmm. And I see uh, Chairman... Um, Alvarez, Alvarez uh -huh. uh, Franz Alvarez, mm -hmm. I need that speaker. Right, right, right. Uh, with a grin and a smile on his face. Para bang naalisan siya ng, ng pabigat. Malaking, malaking, malaking burden. Problema, ano? oh. Everybody's already pushing him. Why don't you open up the discussions in your committee? Mm -hmm. Secretly, sinasabi naman niya totoo. Wala akong order at saka ayaw ng speaker. Pero publicly, hindi niya masabi yun. Of course. Ay, baka matagal din siya as chairman. <laughs> <laughs> baka after nito, dahil binuking niyo siya, baka siya na isusunod, di ba? <laughs> oh. Hindi na naman matuloy yung, ano, yung committee. Hindi, palagay ko, kasama sa kanilang timetable, bubuksan sa Tuesday. But eh, magsa-session break? Baka siya oh, Wednesday. Na. So, bitin pa rin. Mm -hmm. Pero mawawala yung accusation, hindi niyo binuksan. Binuksan namin eh. Parang mm -hmm. konsuelo de... Consuelo de Bobo. Consuelo de Bobo. Kung ang kausap mo, Bobo, baka pwede maniwala. <laughs> okay, so, Congressman, since you opened that uh, that issue up, let's take a look at uh, ano yung mga ibinabato nila or what are the issues behind the so-called non-renewal, di ba? Of, of the... Kasi ang allegations dito is, uh, is that the network is... Uh, foreign owned partially foreign owned din di ba and they were questioning uh, about the you know how, the, how this can be when under our constitution it should be 100% filipino uh, Kim, owned again huh? i am embarrassed as a congressman mm -hmm. at this point because why all of these issues have been taken up by the senate Yeah, kami dapat ang pinanggalingan niyang ganyan klase. Hindi nga dapat sila eh. Actually, it has to emanate eh, from the House. Paano, Kim, ayaw magtrabaho ng lower house. Ano sabi ng mga senador? 
Pwede ba magtrabaho kayo para hindi naman kami ang na, nabibigatan dito? Marami rin kami trabaho. Mm-hmm. Hindi gumagalaw sa lower house. Kaya ang Senado, and I thank them for that, mm-hmm. sila ang gumalaw. Sila nakinig sa mga reklamo. Mm-hmm. Sila nag-imbestiga. No, on the issue of foreign uh, oh, money. Mm-hmm. Uh, support oh, yung sa PDRs. Yeah. That was answered clearly by the SEC itself. Mm-hmm. The Securities and Exchange Commission. Dahil Ina-approve nila lahat ng mga investments on on uh, businesses in the Philippines. Okay. Yung issue ron, may mga foreigners na nag bumili ng stocks. Right. Oh, the buying stocks doesn't mean uh, being part of management. In fact, when you buy a stock in any corporation, you sometimes get frustrated. Alam mo mali yung ginagawa. Wala ka, hindi ka kasama sa management. Eh. Mm-hmm. Iba nagpapatakbo, pero ikaw, stockholder. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't mean you own the company. You are a stockholder. You, Pinaliwanag yeah. ng SEC very clearly. I, know, I, I, I was listening intently. Mm-hmm. Tama eh. So therefore, that issue has been aired. Mm-hmm. It has been answered. Clarified. There is no violation. Okay, so anyway, this will be discussed naman. It should be discussed in the House. The proper venue is actually Congress, the lower house, and not the Senate, di ba? Kaso, hindi naman nagsimulang magbukas ang, ang lower house. Dahil kaya... Nga, October pa or November ng isang taon, mm-hmm. ay naka, nag-file na kami ng mga resolutions mm-hmm. uh, in the Committee on Franchises. Mm-hmm. They never took it up. Any. They, the 11 bills have been filed. They have never touched even one of them. So, to the frustration of many of us, para bagang ayaw ninyong buksan, ayaw ninyong magtrabaho. Mm-hmm. Why? Are you inviting public condemnation? Mm-hmm. The ABS issue is not a, an ordinary issue anymore. It's a national issue. Mm-hmm. You, the voices we're hearing now are not only from Manila or Pasay. Or, it's already a, a matter of national interest and national issue mm-hmm. and national concern. That's true. Pumasok na tuloy yung issue ng press freedom. Oh, pero... Kung LA, let's uh, disengage from uh, that, yung usapin na yan sa press freedom. Kasi medyo meron din namang ibang school of thought saying that this issue is should be a matter of law and not of sentiment. So, eh, since nasa media rin naman po kami, ngayon, eh, medyo mahirap para sa atin ang magsalita dyan. Naman naman, it's all a matter of law. Yes. But the point is, the law says, whenever a something is lodged in your committee mm-hmm. or your office and your government, you're supposed to hear it. You're supposed to act on it. Yes, If yes. you sit on it, you're violating the law. Hindi ba pwede yun sa ARTA? No, wala na tayo. <laughs> hindi, hindi. I'm, I'm wala just, na tayong issue ngayon doon sa uh, real uh, issues involved. Mm-hmm. Ang mangyayari dyan, ayaw niyong magtrabaho. Okay, one... Doon ako napapahiya. Oh, ako ma- gusto magtrabaho. One last. How about, um, how does the co-waranto petition that was filed by the Solicitor General play uh, uh, to into... To me, that's part of the plan. There's a case filed in the judiciary the executive is not moving, uh, is moving, the legislative is not moving, mm-hmm. so nagkakaroon ng problema. Mm-hmm. Yung sa, sa judiciary, palagi ko, out of place. If I were a justice, mm-hmm. I'll throw it out. Why? Because complaints against any franchise should be filed in Congress. Correct. In the lower house. Yes. Not the judiciary. Mm-hmm. So I don't think the Supreme Court uh, will act on this. Ah, you think so? According to the whims and the desires of the Solicitor General. I see. Um, again, it um, puts the lower house, kami yun, mm-hmm. again on the spot. Mm-hmm. Kaya tuloy nag-file na sa Supreme Court. Kasi ayaw magtrabaho ng mga congressmen. Yeah, I'll that's... I keep on that's, saying that because that, that, that's the truth. That's one Hindi way of looking at it. So, gumagalaw yung ibang department mm-hmm. to the embarrassment of the lower house. Oh nga naman. Uh, I agree with you on that, mm. uh, Kong. Kasi that's part of the job that we were elected to do. Siguro, alam, alam, dapat malaman ng tao na the Constitution provides that. Right. All franchises should emanate from the lower house. Yes, Congress. I agree. And uh, hindi alam ng marami yan eh. Oo, dapat uh, congre- uh, kongreso uh, lang. Yes, congre- that's right. Kongreso should... lang talaga may kapangyarihan at tungkulin. Hindi lamang kapangyarihan. It's a duty that when somebody applies, you act on it. Mm-hmm. Pag tinulugan mo yan, inupuan mo yan, tinubuan ng mushroom yan. <laughs> Oo nga. 
Ako nga naman. <laughs> yeah, that's a violation of the law. That's true. Oh. I understand that. So, siguro, we will have to take a look ano, uh, over, over what's gonna happen in the next couple of days. Especially because wala nang oras ang kongreso dahil you will go on a break pretty soon, di ba? Eh, meron pa kayong mga ibang mga ginagawa sa kongreso. I know for a fact that uh, some of the bills that you filed, Congressman, you proposed the creation of the Metropolitan Manila Government, which will replace the current MMDA. Tama po ba yun? Getting the official elected. Oh, oh Direct, okay. Directly elected. Iba yun. Yung ngayon, puro appointed sila. Correct. Uh, kaya it's not effective. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because the MMDA, composed of uh, appointed officials, mm -hmm. are trying to rule over elected mayors. By the natural uh, difference of, of, of authority, one is directly coming from the people, mm -hmm. another is just coming from the president. Merong natural uh, clash yan. That's Kaya right. Kaya hindi nakapag-trabaho ng tama ang Oo. MMDA. Hindi nila ma-enforce. Hindi nila ma mautusan ng elected mayor. Tama. Mabonsitin sila no. <laughs> <laughs> o, oh, isa-isahin natin yung issue na yan. Oh. We will talk about that after this break. We'll have to go on a break. So, uh, Congressman Atienza, mamaya na tayo ulit. Dagdagan natin yan. We'll be back on a break. Stay with us. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is still Buhay Party List Representative Lito Atienza. So, Congressman L.A., we were discussing about yung proposal ninyo, itong bill na to. Hey, Bakit nga ba hindi effective yung hindi MMDA? Talaga, you know, to go back a little bit mm. sa history, mm. saan ang galing yung monstrosity na tinatawag nating MMDA? MMDA? Galing yan sa isang eksperimento ng martial law. Okay. Na ang presidente nun, si Presidente Marcos, gumawa ng decree, naggumawa ng tanggapan, Metro Manila Commission. Okay. Ang kanyang paliwanag, kami niya, eksperimento lang to. Mm -hmm. I want to test whether uh, the system will work, or there is a super body supervising the local units of Metro Manila. Inappoint niya ang kanyang misis, Mrs. Imelda Marcos. Okay. So, siya unang-unang Metro Manila Commission Chairman. Right. Now, the question is, did it work in the beginning? Yes. Why? I'm chairman si Mrs. Marcos, the president dictator Ferdinand Marcos. Hindi, ganun na rin ang epekto nun. Parang elected yung governor. Pag, hindi pa siya makapagbigay ng order, takbuhan na yung mga mayors nun. <laughs> so, ibig sabihin nun, may, may authority kasi. May so, authority. Yes. So, it worked then. Nung naliberate na ang bansa from the Marcos dynasty and dictatorship, mm -hmm. doon, nakita na ng tao, hindi effective yung MMC. Mm -hmm. At in fact, at one time, I was being considered to be the chairman by President Cory. Mm -hmm. And I declined. Sabi ko, hindi. What did why? Because I do not believe it's the correct system. I what see. we should do, Mrs. President, is abolish the MMC and restore the uh, independence and autonomy mm -hmm. of the units. And then, if you want a metropolitan government, Let's create a real body composed of elected people, elected governor, elected board. Meron din dapat silang direct mandate from the Metro Manila but, voter. But Congressman, uh, that would have been a perfect time at the time kasi nasa revolutionary government Correct. tayo at Ito the na, time. Eh bakit, oh, oh, bakit hindi naman na-introduce hey, yun at the time? I, you already told I, them all I about it. I push for it. Mm -hmm. Eh, nanaig yung mga... Hindi, huwag na, nakapwesto na si ganon, nakapwesto na si ganon. Mm -hmm. Yan ang hirap mag-abolish ng anumang opisina. Mm -hmm. Pag may nakaupo na, para kang bumubunot ng payawak sa lugga. <laughs> apat, na, apat na pa yung pipigil. Uh -huh. Ano na nangyari dyan? So, nagtuloy-tuloy. Yes. From the Metro Manila Commission, naging MMC, MM. naging MMDA, naging... Ngayon, ah, uh, uh, MM, MMDA, yes. Kaya... So, anong, anong status po ngayon? Uh, at saka, what are... Uh, what, what's the status first in Congress? Ano na po ngayon? Yung proposal ko is agreed upon by and supported by many congressmen. Okay. Because they know, 
tama yung aming uh, rasyonal mm -hmm. na hindi mag magiging effective yung sistema ngayon. Uh, let's try to copy the effective metropolitan governance in the world. Tokyo, mm -hmm. may elected governor yan. Mm -hmm. New York, elected governor. Yes, tama. Kaya pag sinabi mong metropol uh, metropolitanization, eh, kailangan elected yung governor. That's right. Hindi pwedeng appointed. Wala siyang mandate oh, eh. Mas kung oh. gawin mo sa Amerika, appointed lang yung governor. Eh, palagay ko, magkakaproblema sila. That's right. Eh, yun ang ating sitwasyon. Kaya yung mga problema sa Metropolitan Manila, eh, masyadong nabibigyan ng, ng solusyon. So, what does the MMDA naman uh, has to say uh, about this uh, uh, They will proposal. reject the idea. Because, <laughs> sabi ko kasi, the first one's to object. Nakausap mo ba sa kanila? Eh, na meron na bang... There. Alam ko na ang magiging reaction dyan. Hmm. De, we're effective. We're fixing the traffic situation. We're attending to the uh, communication. Hindi yung nga nyo maayos-ayos sa transportation, yung traffic, para ba yun? <laughs> Never-ending problem. Yes, and so, it's becoming worse, actually. Kung elected actually. yung governor dyan, naku, baka, baka yun ang makita natin nagta-traffic mismo sa EDSA. Mm -hmm, Pero right. yung, alisin mo lang yung mga terminal, hindi nila magawa eh. Mm -hmm. 47 oh, terminals are operating, still operating, in spite of the promises, along EDSA. Meron ba namang freeway? Dapat freeway yan eh. Kaya That's right. intersection. Right. Eh, that mga, was the vision of EDSA actually. May mga, may mga bus terminals where buses go in and go out. Kaya every time a bus moves, mm -hmm. na, na stall ang traffic, ang takbo ng traffic sa, sa EDSA. That's right. And, and saka nakakita ng freeway na merong mga uh, vehicular tunnel. Mm -hmm. ah, ito, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm asking you, take a look at the tunnels that you pass through in mm -hmm. EDSA. I cannot understand why the MMDA cannot have them well lighted as, as bright as this. I know. Lahat, lahat ng vehicular tunnel sa mundo, mm -hmm. maliwanag na maliwanag, tuloy-tuloy yung mga sakyan. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng tunnel. Yung sa atin, tunnel parang kuweba. Ang dilim. Par, parang pumapasok ka ng kuweba. Kaya dumarating ka rin sa tunnel, pumapreno ka na. Pag preno mo, lahat ng nasa likod mo, papreno rin yan. That's one of the main causes also of the EDSA problem. That's right. But who's attending to it? I don't think anyone is attending to it. Misan, maglalagay ng ilang ilaw. After one week, wala na naman yung mga ilaw. That's right. Pa pwede kayo magtaguan oh, sa loob ng tanong. <laughs> Oo oh, nga. So, ito, Congressman, ito ang tanong ko sa'yo. Do you honestly think that uh, if your bill becomes a law, eh, masosolve itong current uh, problems that we are facing right now with the present yes, uh, MLDA? the structure will be more... Uh, active and mm -hmm. effective. Yes. Pag yung metropolitan government nagbigay ng plano for compliance of the locals, they will move more uh, effectively because hey, galing sa provincial governor. So parang, eh. oh, oh, parang oh. lumalabas yung governor magiging, na siya ng oh, Manila. Magiging province na itong metropolitan area mm -hmm. at meron tayong elected governor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to appoint a governor in a province. He will not be effective. Why? He cannot order the mayors of the municipalities and cities around. They will be like, appointed ka lang. Ako, elected eh. That's correct. So, basically, um, mas, para mas maintindihan ng mga, uh, ng layman, uh, congressman, ibig sabihin, para lang itong sa probinsya, kailangan mo lang ng governor mm. that will uh, help or work or coordinate with all our mayors. Yeah. Hindi ba? Who will prepare so, the plan for the development of the province. Hmm. Yung metropolitan uh, government, hinihingan ko sila every time hmm. a budget hearing. Can you present now your development plan? Wala. For the next five years, ten years, twenty years? Palaging wala eh. Gagawa, ginagawa namin. You know, 1980, 19, no, 1973, mm -hmm. nag-umpisa MMC. Mm -hmm. Tagal uh, na. 17, 37 years after, wala pa kayong development plan. That's right. So that, that, oh that, that, those are these clear, so, clear signs it's not working. Okay, we will pause for a break. Stay with us. The Philippines has been around for centuries. Malayo na rin ang narating natin. But back then, the way of life has been mostly analog. Did you know that you need to take a boat from Cavite in order to go to Manila? Yes, ganon ang takbo ng buhay dati. You need to send a letter to the United States? Sure, pero aabutin ka ng isang buwan bago matanggap ang iyong liham. 
Kailangan mong tumawag sa bahay o sa iyong kaibigan? Many ways to do that. Pwede ka maghulog ng tatlong 25 sa payphone or use that vintage rotary phone na most likely 6 digits lang ang landline number. Forget about email. Telex at fax machine ang modes of communication for business. You want to listen to that one song of your favorite band on repeat? Sorry, pero kailangan mong i-rewind ang cassette tape. Buong album naman ang kailangan mong bilhin kahit iisang kanta lang ang gusto mo doon. But things change and we as a race progress. The world is getting small. We are now a traveling population. Why? Because travel is now cheap. Our friends are across the world because our form of communication is now borderless. Time zones are now meant to serve as a guide and not as a limitation. We can buy things from the comfort of our homes. Nasanay na tayo sa convenience because why not? It is the price of development and the glimpse of our future. Have you imagined the future? How do you think it will look like? Driverless cars? Yes, autonomous driving will happen. Robots replacing low-value processes done by humans? Tama ka dyan. Paying for your groceries using digital currency? Very realistic. Materials being 3D printed instead of ordering? Yes, we are indeed a progressive race. And technology plays a vital and crucial part of it. How will this affect our lives? Kailangan ba natin itong matutunan? Mahirap ba itong aralin? Or kaya naman? How can our nation take advantage of these advancements? All of these can be understood and learned. Tayo nang matuto para umunlad. Nandito na ang Abante. Progress through technology. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. We are now at our last stretch for this episode and our guest is still Buhay Party List Representative Congressman Lito Atienza. So Kong Lito, medyo uh, last stretch na tayo ngayon. Ang dami mo, you are very active. dami mong na-file ng mga bills. Ngayon naman, after yung uh, pinag-usapan natin yung sa abolishing the MMDA into uh, uh, something different. No? Ano nga yung tawag mo? Met Metropolitan Manila Government. Government. Yes. Elected officials. Elec with elected officials, di ba? In effect, parang Metro Manila governor. Oh, Oo. Parang probinsya na Metro Manila. O, oh, magiging probinsya na. Ngayon, um, we took a look at uh, some of the bills that you filed. You also filed a bill creating the uh, Food and Drug Administration. That will be separate from the DOH. Ano no, po ba yung... Uh, proposal and namin, independent. Ang proposal namin, maging yes. independent ang FDA... Uh, hindi under the DOH. Hindi siya attached oh, dahil, agency. Dahil uh, kailangan independent talaga yan. Mm -hmm. eh. They are the authority on uh, considering which is safe and which is recommendable and mm -hmm. which is not. Especially on drug matters. No? Why, 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 do you, um, why do you think this is um, more essential or more necessary more at effective. this point? Management, oh, more effective. Management of, and control of the inflow and usage of drugs. Mm -hmm. Kasi... Uh, pag sila sa DOH, eh, naghihintay lang ng signal yan from the Secretary of Health. And many times, they are not able to decide properly mm -hmm. dahil yung Secretary of Health meron sariling thinking. So, eh, hindi in public good and public welfare and public health, mm -hmm. many times, uh, actually are not uh, enhanced mm -hmm. pag sila under the DOH. Right. So, uh, ito po ba na-influence din yung uh, inyong desire to put up uh, this bill or to file this bill because of the Deng Baksha controversy? Also, that's one of the reasons why we felt we need a stronger FDA. Mm -hmm. At yung, yung FDA din, many times, alam ko, hindi makapag-decide on issues of locally uh, nutritious uh, herbal uh, Material. Oh, no? the supplements. So, the supplements. In Philippines, there are many herbal materials, natural supplements right. that should benefit the good health of Filipinos. Sure. But hindi magawa ng FDA yan. I'm sure that and DOH committed to World Health Organization. And World Health Organization is controlled by the pharmaceuticals. Right. So, yung ating mga supplements, effective yung malunggay. Eh. Very effective, Jan. I right. take that. Yes. And I can testify. Mm -hmm. It is a very effective supplement for your good 
help right. and strong resistance. Yes, and hindi, uh, ang dami nating malunggay. Hindi ako sipunin. Why? Because mm -hmm. of malunggay. Number two, papaya. Right. Papaya leaves, papaya seed. Basta all about papaya mm -hmm. can pro provide a lot of uh, protection. But Congressman, But, do you think itong bill na ito uh, ay may chance ang makapasa ngayon? I'm sure. I'm, It's not even being considered because oh, I'm sure that's what I'm the tentacles of the health, the world lobby. health, is all over the place, including Philippine Congress. Right. So, um, you remember Deng Baksha? That's oh, right. Uh, we were going to so, say, but the big pharmaceutical firms are said to uh, have very long tentacles yeah, all over the world. Correct. And uh, the Deng Baksha problem, uh, came to the Philippines and killed many lives, mm -hmm. contrary to what is being claimed by the lady in charge then. That's right. Former Secretary Garin, mm -hmm. uh, she will raise her voice and become hysterical every time the oh, topic man. is uh, taken up in Congress. That's right. Pero wala, hindi niya madedenay. Talagang mali mm -hmm. ang pasok ng Dembaksha, mali ang application, kaya marami na disgrasya. Oo nga, hanggang ngayon nga, meron nga nga tinatabi. Oo nga, that's kaya, right. And But they... Now, Um, indicted. Yeah, that's uh, that's the oh, oh that's Because the reason. Kailan managut sila? Eh. Oh, oh, Bakit naman. ganun ang application niyo na isang drug na bago at uh, sinabi ng manufacturer ganito pero ni rush 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 niyo. Oo nga uh, naman. Naubos yung mat, billions of pesos. Oo nga, talagang uh, and endanger the lives of so children. Many, yeah, so many children. Yeah, that's correct. So, there's a lot Oh, there's a, there's a lot sana of sana mapasaya yan, ma, mapasayang bill na yan na Congressman Dito. We want Dito. A, a stronger FDA. Yes. Not uh, dependent on the DOH, not dependent on anybody else. Right. To protect nothing but the interests of the Filipinos. That's right. And speaking of which, you also have another advocacy. Gusto mo namang ibalik yung Department of Education. Gusto mong ibalik sa dating DEX yung Department of Education, Culture and Sports. Correct. Eh, pina tinanggal nila yon, ginawang <laughs> DepEd. Ngayon, gusto mong ibalik sa dati. Hindi, Bakit? Hindi natin maintindihan ba in the list of culture and sports, hindi total education of our children in the public schools. Mm -hmm. Kaya ngayon, ang mga bata lumalaki, Exposed sila sa Western culture mm -hmm. because of the internet. Yes. Pero hindi nila alam yung Philippine culture. Right. Yung sports, bumababa na bumababa ang ating uh, ability to be champions of the world mm -hmm. because nawala yung training ground. Ang mga public schools are the best uh, sources of future Filipino grades in, in sports. Training ground for them para paglaki nila magiging Manny Pacquiao sila, mm -hmm. eh, inalis siyang sports eskwela. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon, saan sa natututo ng sports sa Pilipino, ang mga bata? Sa kanya na lang, mayroon kaunting basketball coach. <laughs> pero, pero, Congressman, meron bang uh, tayong studies that would be, kasi it would be more, more helpful uh, for us na isulong itong batas na ito. Are there, uh, like, concrete studies that had been done before mm -hmm and uh, after yes. the culture and sports was removed. The best proof, uh, Congresswoman, yes. is that when the time when the culture and sports were with the Department of Education, mm -hmm. we were champions all over the place. Our sportsmen were uh, doing great and doing bringing home honors to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And our cultural orientation and education was solid. Mm -hmm. And we were uh, artists, uh, whether dance, orchestra, singing, dahil meron tayong training ground and those are the public schools. There's no, no better training ground for cultural orientation and sports than the public schools. All over the country yan eh. That's right. At meron ng teacher dyan. mag na lang ng subject uh, leader to mm -hmm. develop culture and sports in the school. Ngayon na wala yan. Oo. Education na lang. Sabi nila it will It will now be better for the education foundation of our children. Hindi yata nangyayari. Bakit? So, nakita nyo, hindi nangyayari. Mababang mababa ngayon ang level ng ating education. Pinakamababa na yata tayo sa buong mundo. We came, we used to be number one in the world. I remember that. As far as education is concerned. Yes, even our, my late mother who also was in the DepEd before, during the time it was DEX, okay? Um, we're saying that we were very competitive before mm -hmm. and uh, nag-deteriorate. Uh, Lahat nag-deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Deteriorated yung ating cultural uh, exposure, deteriorated yung performance ng ating sports, 
eh, mga Filipino sportsmen, masyado tayong nalilibang sa mga imports. Hindi naman mga Filipino imports. Magagaling sa basketball kasi 6'8 sila, 6'7. Oh. <laughs> the point is, again, if we think of national development and national interest, mm -hmm. we should bring back culture and sports in the training of our school children. Kung nila lang, may, may balik na namin ngayon, na ipasa namin yung uh, orientation on Filipino values. Okay. Yung good man is a right yes, conduct. Yes, oo. Meron kaming batas na ipinasa nung mukhan mata. Pero, Congressman, ang sinasabi nga nila, nakakalungkot naman na kailangan pa tayong mag-legislate para magkaroon tayo ng good manners and right conduct. Okay, Hindi ba? Kasi talaga, pag inalis mo, kasi <laughs> sa curriculum, mm -hmm. eh, malaking bagay yan eh. Nawawala sa, along the way. Ano? Uh, Nakaka-insulto, pero ang Japan, for instance, yung mm -hmm. first three years nila, yung system of education of the Japanese, yes. The first three years of the child, wala silang academic subjects. Mm -hmm. Meron silang values, patriotism, mm -hmm. good manners, right conduct, basic. So Tsaka yung, lang sila papasok na academic. So, so yung sinasabi nila ngayon na values formation, it doesn't work? Eh, wala na, na eh. Wala, nila. Walang, ano, walang deliberate effort mm -hmm. to pound on the child yung good values. That's true. Ang bata, naglalaro sa... Maliit na bata pa lang, nasa floor pa lang, nagko-computer na eh. Oo nga. You look at them, look at your children. Oo nga. Huh? Oo, that's true. I understand. There's different... They're, they're on the floor playing with their computers. Oo nga. What are they seeing there? Foreign cartoons, foreign films, foreign everything. Foreign influences, right? Oo nga. Speaking of which, um, Congressman, I know, uh, part, part din ito ng advocacy mo, pati naman yung sa five-year tax holiday for the film industry, Correct. no? Because we need so, to really help our bakit? film industry. Sige, in a capsule, uh, please tell us. one of those uh, businesses or talents of the Philippines. Namamatay na nga daw na yung film industry. Yes. And ngayon, ang, look, the Koreans won mm. the Oscars, right? The First Oscar time, won. yes. Oh. Filipinos could easily do that, accomplish that feat. Mm -hmm. Pero dahil bumabagsak ang ating, uh, ang ating industriya ng pelikula, mm -hmm. eh, hindi tayo kasali sa malaking market ng pelikula, Netflix man lang. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Meron so, naman tayo pa isa-isa pumapasok, oh, Congressman. Mabuti naman tayong Viva Films oh. sa sumasali rin. Pero... Eh, kung bibigyan natin ng incentive yan, we need to we, give we, them we give them a shot in the arm. Mm -hmm. Yung mga independent producers and talents like directors, actresses, baka biglang madiscover si, si Congresswoman Kim. <laughs> 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 yung pangalan na lang actually, kaya lang mukhang foreign din yung pangalan. Yeah, you, eh, you, oh. you have been in the headlines. Huh? <laughs> There was an attempt on your life. Si Kim, <laughs> si Kim Chu Kim naman Chu. yun. Sa ABS <laughs> naman yun. O nga, showbiz na kayo ngayon. So, Congressman, um, you have a lot of advocacies that you are now pushing for in Congress. Uh, and yet, uh, it is interrupted by uh, all hindi, of these... Hindi lang yun. Very clearly, and the Speaker Cayetano, namimili siya kung sino gusto niya ng mga idea ng mga congressmen na malapit sa kanya. Pero, Kaya, dapat sana ako, yung aming mga intramurals, dapat hindi kasama rin sa official uh, decisions on uh, the quality of our uh, proposed legislation. Mm -hmm. And uh, walang personalan. Okay. So, eh, ako, eh, preparado ako. Kung ganyan ang attitude ng speaker, Ayaw mo sa akin, ayaw mo yung mga idea ko. Ayaw okay ko rin sa'yo, gano'n? Hindi, okay, okay lang. Maghihintay ako kay Velasco. Ah, okay. So, um, very naughty yung iyong last statement na yan. So, Kong LA, we will leave it at that. We'd like to thank you for uh, guesting with us tonight. And we do hope that you will come back again to update us. Especially and because Congress is uh, on the headlines right now. Again, because you're a great host. I, I can feel you have no agenda to, <laughs> no, <laughs> to, to put I, me in a spot. No, definitely you, not. You allow me to speak freely. Yes. And allow me to put my face in what I say. Right, next and time, Congressman. Hindi yung, hindi yung mga ibang hosts na... They will cut uh, in. You'll, you'll try to <laughs> make me say what you want me to say. <laughs> no, in the, you I mean, are... If I don't say it, nagagalit <laughs> you are You are very much free to espouse you. um, all your advocacies and your beliefs uh, in this show. Next time, baka hot seat na tayo. So, thank, thank you. you very much, uh, Congressman Lito Atienza, and for being with us today. I'm sure your show will uh, uh, succeed. I, in your I, end. 
Let's, let's hope so too. Yeah. So that's it for our episode of Congress Diaries. We will be back again next week uh, for more of these issues and other issues that is pending in Congress. In the meantime, this is Kim Bernardo Lokin saying good night and see you back then. Mm -hmm.